will soon be uh, getting back underway with the pickup truck racing championship and earlier on Ian Waterhouse down in the paddock caught up with some of the drivers well, welcome everybody to the assembly area for uh, the next pickup truck racing and I wanted to chat to this guy thank you because I didn't get a chance to uh, earlier George I never got a chance to speak to you earlier uh, congratulations for race one it was quite eventful wasn't it yeah it was a good race yeah it was uh, what sort of the plan for race two obviously starting the seventh this time what can you do from there um we are like a top five that'd yeah. be nice uh, there's a lot of fast cars in front so it's going to be a lot harder this one these cars look quite a handful to drive, they, they, they look like they were sort of slipping and sliding around at the times, is it quite a handful? Yeah, they can be. <laughs> yeah, they take a lot of work. Top man, George, best of luck for the race too. Thank Thanks you. for talking to us and congratulations again. Uh, that is uh, George Turuki there, race one winner. We didn't get a chance to catch up with him immediately after the race as well. We've got a young man next to us as well. We've got Danny, uh, let's have a quick word with that. Danny, quick word. How's it going? You alright? You ready for this? Sorry? Yeah, not too bad. Not you? too bad. Good man. Yeah, yeah. Talk us through uh, race one. Uh, race one. Well, what happened? Race one. Uh, just wanted to try and sort of uh, get my head down. Just try and stay out of trouble for the first probably few laps, really. Yeah. Um, I say it's my first season in the pickup truck. I transformed from the intermarks to these. Um, just, just sort of got my head down, and then it was all in the pack, pretty close together, really. And as I come through, um, through the back of the garages, yeah. I was coming, got my rear wheel on the grass, went a bit sideways, and all I could see is the gravel trap coming pretty oh, sharp. No. I managed to save it. I can't tell you how I've done it. I managed to save it. It's got my head down again, but because the pickup trucks are so close, it's hard then to try and gain that gap. Um, do, do you get toes front. going down the straights? I know Brands Hatch, it's, there's not much of a straight, is there, really, here? Can, no. can you really tuck in behind people? You can, yeah, that's the, that's the plan. Obviously, when you're behind someone, try and get a bit of a draft if you can. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, hopefully, you can carry the momentum into the paddock, then, obviously, up to Druids, but. They look. A lot of fun, I've got to say. Yeah, definitely oh, a lot of fun. fun to drive as they look. Yeah, definitely a lot of fun. I say because they're close. When you look at like this, this qualifying for this race, the top twelve are covered by seven tenths. Yeah, which it's is incredible. It's so incredible. I understand like the touring cars are good and they're quick and they're all close together, but this is for quarter the budget. So there you go. Fun, this is officially better than touring cars. Which is. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right, it is time for the pickups to get out on track for their second race of the weekend here at Brands Hatch. We're going to take you back to your commentator, Dave Goddard, who's going to take you through the action. Perfect timing there from uh, Ian. The legend's just heading back into Park Fermi. We move on to the Pickup Truck Racing Championship, their second race of the weekend. Take a look at the grid then for this race uh, set by qualifying yesterday the top six on times reverse the sixth fastest driver in qualifying was number 69 lee rogers for race two so he starts on pole alongside number 12 paul tompkins reese jones number 40 who led the points coming into this weekend is on the second row alongside 86 dan petters had a good run in the first race led briefly but slipped down to fifth and on row three we've got 65 mark willis and number 93 michael smith race one winner george Turicki in the 2080s on row four alongside number 71 simon ward on the fifth row, 39, Danny Hun, alongside 21, Dean Tompkins. Alan Cooper's on row six, alongside number 18, Nathan Dew. Then on row seven, it's James Goldstraw and Chris Land. The eighth row, Richard Ayling and Stephen Field. Jamie Liptrot and Dale Gent start on row nine. Dale Gent, one of a few trucks that didn't uh, get out for the second part of qualifying for race two yesterday. The others being Dan Fisher, number five, Roger Dormer, number seven, and number 50, Jeff Dixon due to various failures in the first qualifying session. Dan Fisher we saw end up in the gravel in race one. He was the only non-finisher, so hoping for a better fortune. Slice of fortune here. The pickups will be shortly out onto track then. looking at the uh, results of some earlier races no changes to the results of race one George Tariki the winner ahead of Mark Willis and Reese Jones it's Lee Rogers who will start on pole the man from Exeter in uh, number 69 the Exxon race engines truck starting alongside Paul Tompkins in truck 
number 12. Successful in the days of the Rockingham one and a half mile oval. Reese Jones in his pink number 40 truck on the second row with Dan Petters in 86 alongside him. They'll be released from the assembly area very shortly. I can see the trucks down there at the uh, far end of the pits towards Clark Curve. They'll head out round to the grid. Really was a spectacular first race with them drafting each other just like the NASCAR trucks do in America. Well, thanks to everybody who has tuned in. We've got over 500 of you watching on uh, YouTube at the moment. Great to see fans back at uh, trackside as well here at Brands Hatch all enjoying the action plenty of uh, family fun at trackside we've got the fun fair monster truck rides and plenty more besides all well, the legends is being recovered there Nathan Anthony on the back of the uh, flatbed So the uh, pace car, the BMW, leading the trucks out on the track then. And what an honour for Lee Rogers to be in pole position in 69. If he wins this, it'll be chocolates all round because uh, Lee's wife runs a chocolate-making company down in Devon. Alongside Lee Rogers, who used to race hot rods at uh, Taunton and uh, St Day, among others, in the uh, southwest. Smeetharp Stadium, Taunton, and the St. Day United Downs Raceway near Redruth in Cornwall. That's currently under threat of closure, so uh, if fans could be good enough to go online and uh, find the petitions to uh, rescue St. Day. The United Downs Raceway. Look online for Save United Downs Raceway on social media. That would be appreciated by many supporters. Number 12 of Paul Tompkins alongside him. Row 2, number 40 which is Reese Jones, 86 of Dan Petters. Mark Willis and Michael Smith on row three. We're missing one truck there. Just trying to work out who that is. I think it's James Goldstraw We're missing number 52. Should be alongside Chris Land on row seven. Yes, so James is not there, the purple and gold truck. So he's had a problem in uh, race one. We saw him drop down the order at the end of race one. So he has had uh, some sort of problem. Away they go for the rolling lap then. Let's go. Pickup truck racing. Message is coming on YouTube from Tracy Goldstraw. Says happy birthday number 52 and number 21. So James Goldstraw celebrating his birthday today. Unfortunately not on the grid for this one. And Dean Tompkins celebrating his birthday this weekend as well. So many happy returns to both of them. There's Jeff Dixon at the back. Number 50 had problems in qualifying yesterday. The Palmer's garage truck. National Super Rod Racer. Pickup trucks race at number two then. The white truck of Lee Rogers on pole, the black and red of Paul Tompkins alongside first race was a cracker what's going to happen this time this will be an 18 lap race around the Brands Hatch Indy circuits just keeping it steady 
Round towards Clearways, then up towards Clark Curve. The pace car will pull into pit lane. Rogers and Tompkins, then Jones and Petters. Here we go then. The pickup truck racing championship, round four of the season, about to get underway. The power comes on and away they go. Good start by Paul Tompkins from the outside in the number 12. Looks like he's going to take the lead into the first corner. It was a bit of rubbing in there. Lee Rogers got sideways round the outside. Comes 86 of Dan Petters. He's got a good start up into second place, but it's Paul Tompkins who leads the way. Locks up into Druids a little there. Petters in second place. Third place is Lee Rogers holding on ahead of Reese Jones who goes through on the exit of Druids. Rogers goes down to fourth. Mark Willis trying to come through as well into fourth position. And he's going to do so side by side with Rogers. There's George Tariki running out wide, attacking Michael Smith. And look at Danny Hunt up the inside in the 39. He's had a good start. You come into pickups this season. He makes up two places past uh, two former champions. Paul Tompkins, number 12, world champion in Bangor Racing in the uh, 2000s. Won that title, Ipswich, in a Ford Granada. Very different to that pickup truck, leads the way as they complete the first lap. Then second place is Dan Petters. They start to sort themselves out. Danny Hum with a flying first lap in the number 39. Behind him is Tariki. Then Smith, there's uh, Simon Ward in there as well. Last runners through Stephen Field and Richard Ayling. Dan Petters trying to attack for the lead, but he'll know after race one not to push too hard into the early going, or he'll lose grip later on in the race. His tyres will go off. Down the hill into Graham Hill Bend. Paul Tompkins from Hampshire. Dan Petters. Reese Jones, the local man from Hearn Bay single file through Graham Hill Bend. Good to see Dan Fisher's back out after he's off in race one. Tompkins a little sideways there at Surtees, closing right up there. Oh, and a big wiggle there from Dan Petters. He may have got a touch there from uh, Reese Jones in the number 40, who goes to the inside, coming out of clearways towards Clark Curve. He's going to try and take second place here. There could be three wide. Almost getting a wheel up on the grass there, Reese Jones. Side by side with Dan Petters down towards Paddock Bend. Is he going to take second place away here? He's got the inside line. I think he's going to go through on the run up towards Druids. Paul Tompkins still has the lead. Look at Mark Willis dodging about all over the back of Reese Jones in the 40. Nice to see Reese carrying uh, stickers in memory of Pete Stevens. Pick up number four, the popular Thunder Saloon racer as well, and a very successful hot rod man, sadly passed away last year. Reese Jones is really throwing that truck around. He's up into second place. Mark Willis is through to third. Are they struggling for grip out there, I wonder? Lee Rogers still there in fifth, the pole sitter. Danny Hunt up behind him, the best we've seen him run so far in his short pickup career. Reese Jones going for the inside there at uh, Clearways. Can he go through? Yes, he can. Reese Jones leads it on his local circuit in the number 40. And that's going to leave uh, Paul Tompkins hung out to dry on the outside. Here comes Mark Willis. Here comes Dan Petters. Look at this. This is going to be three wide into Paddock. They bounce off each other. Whoa, goodness me. Who's going to have to bottle out here? That's never going to work through there. Petters up on the grass. Gets it sideways there. Running wide onto the dirt. That's the leader, Reese Jones. you think this was the last lap. When you look at Mark Willis up the inside, he's going to go from fourth to first in the, the space of about two corners. He's done it. This is incredible. Race of the weekend so far from the pickup truck racing championship. Mark Willis into the lead. And that shows his hot rod training. Some people aim for the gap. He was aiming for where the gap was going to be in all of that. Second place, Reese Jones. Third is Dan Petters. And then we've got uh, in fourth place, Paul Tompkins, who a lap ago was leading. Lee Rogers still there in fifth, ahead of Michael Smith. Then George Tariki, the race one winner. Alan Cooper's up to eighth. He's going well in the uh, number 72. Then it's, uh, I think, Dale Jen. What's happened to uh, Danny Hunt? The uh, 39 truck has disappeared. Pick up where he's gone, uh, as and when we can, because there's so much going on at the front of the field at the moment. Yeah, we seem to have lost uh, Danny Hun, unfortunately, as Reese Jones attacks for the lead through Druids. Can he get the move done by Graham Hill? Ben Mark Willis will have the inside line for the left-hander, and he holds the advantage. Petters in third, then it's Tompkins. Reese Jones dodging about on the tail of Mark Willis. He is. Really determined here, up towards Surtees. Oh, he's tagged the back of Mark Willis there. Willis holds it over the curb. Here comes Dan Petter saying, I'll have a bit of this as well. Oh, this is frantic stuff. Incredible. Tompkins fourth, holding off Michael Smith behind the first three, starting to break away a little. Then it's Tariki. Rogers down to seventh. We've got uh, one truck in the pit lane there. Richard Ayling has pulled in. And uh, James Goldstraw there as well. He did come out and do a lap, but he's pulled back into the pits again. 
Truck may have seemed to have lost is Danny Hunt. He's running towards the back. He must have had a spin somewhere. But anyway, Dan Petters is through into second place behind Mark Willis and attacking. They uh, think they touched again there. They certainly did for second and third. Jones and Petters. This is absolutely frantic stuff. No chance to even pause for breath here. Michael Smith has got up into fourth place. He and George Tariki have got past Paul Tompkins. Rogers is seventh. And the rest of them stream through behind. Behind Rogers is Dale Gent, then Dean Tompkins, Alan Cooper, Simon Ward and Nathan Dew in this breakaway at the front. So as I draw breath, it's Mark Willis leading. Side by side for second, Jones and Petters fighting it out. And Michael Smith, the silver truck, number 93, trying to close up on them. Jones got the inside line there through paddock bend Petters up there on the outside then Smith to Ricky and the rest of them things calming down just a little at the uh, front of the field now with Mark Willis leading by about three or four pickup lengths Reese Jones sideways through Graham Hill bend Dale Gent attacking Paul Tompkins that's for uh, sixth place There is Gent. So now Lee Rogers has been tagged by uh, Dean Tompkins. Round goes the 69 truck. Let's hope the rest of the field get through on the inside. Yes, Rogers floors the throttle, recovers, but he's lost a lot of places. That's a great shame for the pole sitter. Just got tagged there, I think, by Dean Tompkins heading into Surtees. And a disappointed Devonshire driver gets back underway in truck number 69. Mark Willis still leads from Rhys Jones and Dan Petters at the end of that lap. They're coming up towards Druids. This race is going by quickly, already on lap 8 out of 18. Dale Gent with a the manoeuvre there on Paul Tompkins, that's for 6th place. There's Dean Tompkins, I think he may have damaged his truck in that uh, incident with Lee Rogers. It doesn't seem to be handling very well. Dale Gent round the outside at Graham Hill Bend to pass Paul Tompkins, that's a rare move. Good move Dale Gent. Next through it is going to be Simon Ward in the 71. There is the 83 of Dale Gents, newly reliveried that truck this year. Chased by the 12 of Paul Tompkins, who led the early going in this race. Seems to be falling back. Terrific action at the front. New fastest lap of the race by Rhys Jones up at the front of the field, chasing Mark Willis now. We see the midfield battle go through. Here are the leaders. Rhys Jones has caught Mark Willis in the Simpson skip hire number 65 down Graham Hill into the left hand it broken away slightly Mark uh, S Michael Smith rather has taken third from Dan Petters and then look who's coming up behind them it's George Tariki the reigning champion Tricky is on the charge six behind them is Dale Gents they've dropped away slightly from the first five now Tariki has a look on the smart raft and Auto Park MOT and Service Centre 86 of Dan Petters and Rhys Jones is ready to attack Mark Willis for the lead of the race have a look into Paddock Bend Willis holds him off side by side there Alan Cooper trying to take Simon Ward the leaders into Druids now, of course the harder they battle the more Smith, Petters and uh, Tariki can close back in there's Paul Tompkins in 7th and Simon Ward at the inside takes Alan Cooper for 8th place. Bit of place swapping there, Cooper nearly got the bumper in on uh, Simon Ward. You're not in your Formula 2 stock car now, Alan. <laughs> Get off, says Simon Ward and keeps the place. I think there's one truck coming into pit lane further back. I heard the pit lane siren go off. Yeah, Dean Tompkins has pulled in. I thought he had some damage from earlier on when he clipped Lee Rogers. Dan Fisher has retired as well. Here come your leaders, over the line they go, separated by 0.2 of a second, Willis and Jones. Smith is closing up on them ahead of Petters. Yep, it could be five for the lead shortly here. Here's Reese Jones having a look on the inside, Mark Willis will close the door. And now here comes Michael Smith, saying if you're going to fight with each other, I'm going to close down and try to pass you. There's Petters in fourth place as well, trying to close back up. George Tariki just keeping a watching brief in the yellow truck in fifth place. And Dale Gent is sixth, Paul Tompkins seventh, then Ward Cooper and Nathan Dew round out the top ten. 
Roger Dormer going well, he's up to 11, ahead of Jeff Dixon, then Chris Land, Lee Rogers is down to 14th after spinning earlier on. Jamie Liptrot, Danny Hearn and Stephen Field round out the field. Over the line come the leaders and now Michael Smith's getting aboard, watch that 93 truck. Former two-time champion, car in the gravel, oh that's Simon Ward. Eighth place gone, he's gone into the gravel, now I think that's at Clearways. Meantime, Reese Jones attacking for the lead, he's down the inside as they come into Druids, they're side by side, they're rubbing, leaning on each other on the exit there. 65 of Mark Willis will hold it though through Graham Hill Bend, he's got a lot of experience, one of the most experienced drivers in this field. Reese Jones right on his bumper there as they come down the straight, this is allowing Smith to tow up onto the back of them. Willis leads it, it's soon going to be alias Smith and Jones for second place, or is it? No, Jones is going for the inside, there's more rubbing as they come through clearways. Jones has got the inside line and he's surely going to take the lead here in the pink number 40. Here they come, over the line, Jones will have his nose in front at the line, watch for Smith in the 93. Up towards Paddock Hill Bend and the safety car is coming out. The safety car is coming out, we can see the board there, that'll be because of Simon Ward's truck in the gravel trap I presume. Now, who was in front when the safety car came out? Because uh, I don't think they've seen the boards yet. Michael Smith got past uh, Mark Willis. Now, the board was out at the line. He may have to give... And, whoa, goodness me. Wallop into the back of Reese Jones. There goes Michael Smith. I think Jones saw the safety car. Michael Smith didn't. And uh, Jones checked up quicker than uh, Michael Smith was expecting. I don't think he intentionally walloped in there. Hope that doesn't damage the front of uh, Michael Smith's truck. Now, race director Sonny Howard will be on the radio to the uh, teams. And the um, spotters for these drivers will be talking to the drivers as well. Now, was Michael Smith through into second at the start-finish line, or is he going to have to give that place back to Mark Willis for when the safety car came out? We'll wait and see. Uh, the safety car out for Simon Ward's truck, which has gone into the gravel at Clearways. There's a penalty showing for Dale Gent on the timing screen. We don't know what it's for, though. I hope you're enjoying this one as much as I am, ladies and gents. Reese Jones, Michael Smith, Mark Willis, Dan Petters, George Taricki. We're on lap 14 out of 18, so we're going to have a sprint for the line in this race. One of our YouTube commenters says, popped out for a bit, didn't expect NASCAR when I came back. It is almost like a NASCAR race, isn't it? A couple of trucks in the pit lane. Dean Tompkins pulled in a few laps ago. Richard Ayling is out as well. And we lost Dan Fisher. Simon Ward's truck to be towed away. And uh, just a message for our YouTube commenters. Um, we know that the uh, Grand Prix has just finished. Uh, no spoilers, please. I certainly won't be broadcasting any. So the recovery truck will tow Simon Ward out of the gravel. He's gone uh, straight on at clearways there. Just see at the top of the picture. Now James Goldstraw has got going again in the 52. Birthday boy. There he is, the purple truck. But he's uh, a few laps down. There's Danny Hearn, uh, had a, an off earlier on, we believe. There's Simon Ward in the gravel. They're trying to tow it out there. It's dug in fairly deep, hasn't it? The Orange Army, the volunteer marshals trying to get him out there.
Had a message from uh, Steph on YouTube. So shout out to all the Orange Army, especially everyone on post four. Marshall's post four. Simon, oh, his door's come off. <laughs> the door panel's come off there. Simon Ward's truck. Can I have my door back, please, he says. Simon was out on uh, Bank Holiday Monday at Donington in his Vauxhall Astra with the classic touring car racing club. Got him out of the gravel. He's just going to wait for the field to go past here. And uh, should be able to drive it round to the pit lane from there. Now, frantic bit of sweeping from the marshals here. Simon is going to head into the pits. Oh, James Goldstraw's back in again, so more problems for him. Yes, they may resemble pickup trucks, these uh, machines. They're nothing like the pickups you see on the road. They are custom built machines with fiberglass and carbon fibre body shells safety car still out this could end up becoming a sprint for the line could be one lap no the lights are out on top of the safety car I think we're going to have a two lap dash to the finish Reese Jones your leader in number 40 Here we go then, we're going to go green this time, two laps to run then, over the line they go, a two lap sprint for the line and Dale Gent straight up onto the outside of George Tariki, Michael Smith's having a look on the inside, he's not close enough there, he has to lock up the brakes and Reese Jones goes straight off, oh my goodness the leader's gone, what on earth happened there, just too eager to try and hold off Michael Smith and Smith goes straight through into the lead, Reese Jones is out of it, my goodness. Was that uh, cold tyres? Did he run out of brakes? I'm not sure. That's a very uncharacteristic mistake by Rhys Jones. Or what was their contact from Michael Smith? I'm not sure. Couldn't see from uh, our angle. We'll try and see that again if we can. Mark Willis in second. Dan Petters in third. Then it's Tariki. And behind him, Dale Jets. One lap to go this time then. Michael Smith in 93. The former double champion. Former Formula One stock car driver. Leads the way from Mark Willis... Dan Petters in third place. Over the line they come. There's Tariki attack under attack from uh, Dale Gent. The rest of them come through. There'll be yellow flags out at uh, Paddock because that stranded truck of Reese Jones. And could that affect his points lead? I think George Tariki could take over the championship lead this weekend. It'll all be worked out on the website pickuptruckracing.co.uk. Michael Smith, the man from Hartlepool in the northeast of England, is heading for victory. What a disaster for Reese Jones. I don't know if there's any contact there as they went into the first corner. But here they come then. Michael Smith in 93, the offshore fuels and A1 performance product truck. Chased by Mark Willis. I don't think he's going to get there on the run to the line. And it's going to be a win for number 93. Here he comes. Michael Smith comes over the line to win pickup trucks race number two. Mark Willis second, Petters third, then to Ricky fourth. Dale Gent comes over in fifth. Behind them, Paul Tompkins, then Alan Cooper, Nathan Dew, Jeff Dixon. A good result from the back of the grid to ninth. And Danny Hearn, after a spin early on, rounds out the top ten. Fifteen trucks make it home in that one. Certainly an incident-packed race. And poor Rhys Jones, you have to feel for him. I saw Michael Smith go for the inside and then he locked up so I don't know if he just clipped the back of Reese Jones or whether Reese just ran wide but it uh, seemed like Reese just ran out of room on the outside there. Oh, 
We'll confirm the results of that one in a moment, but typical uh, frantic action from the uh, pickups. And poor Reese Jones. One, one comment on social media says, is this a typical pickup race from one of our first time viewers? Uh, yes, it was. <laughs> that is typical pickup action. That was brilliant. Well done, Michael, says uh, Sarah Dickinson on YouTube. Yes, well done, Michael Smith. OK, so the uh, top three are down in part firmly, I can tell you, and we can, uh, before we give you the result, we can hand to Ian Waterhouse. Hello everybody, welcome down to the pit lane here. Here we are down in the pit lane and we do have uh, your winner, Michael Smith over here. Let's just grab a quick word with him. We did chat to him a little bit earlier, didn't we? We're gonna have to be very, very quick. Michael, spoke to you a little bit earlier. Congratulations, you got this one over the line, but uh, it was pushed the whole way and uh, Reese going off kind of helped matters, didn't it? Yeah, it did a bit. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened going in the first lap after the caution there, but uh, definitely helped the mid a little bit easier. And I only had Mark to look after uh, behind me, so we only had a couple of left laps to do. It, so. it, it was a real sprint finish, wasn't yeah, it? But yeah, you managed to hold him back. Congratulations, well done. You must right. be absolutely delighted. Cheers, congratulations. Uh, let's have a chat over here with Dan Peters. Dan, congratulations. Uh, you, you're on the podium. That's what we like to so You must be happy. Yeah, nice one over to me, man. That was, uh, was a good race. It was quite a hectic race, wasn't it? Of course, Reese going off at the end certainly helped you anyway. Yeah, yeah, it helped me out, but it's a, it's a shame for Reese. You know, it was a good race, good hard racing. Fantastic. Congratulations. Enjoy, yeah, enjoy the day. There you go. Top stuff. Uh, Mark Willis as well coming home in second. Uh, I think he's here. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, he is here. Let's just grab it. Sorry, I'll just grab a quick word. Mark, uh, quick yes. word. Uh, oh, congratulations. That was quite a hectic, exciting race, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was great. Um, yeah, it was a bit of confusion there at the end with the yellow flags and the safety yeah. car and all that. But do you know what? I've had a great day. I can't moan. Top man. And there you go. A little trophy to go out with. Yeah, it? lovely, mate. Lovely. A great I'll day. let you guys crack on because I know uh, you so need to go chat Thank to you. Alan as well, right? Uh, very, very quick here in the pit lane being instructed that we've got to hand back to Alan. So I'm going to hand back to your commentator, Dave Goddard, for the next race. Thank you. OK, uh, thanks very much, Ian. Uh, Dale Gent, I can tell you, got a 10-second penalty in that race. We don't know the reason why. Uh, as yet, whether it was for a jump uh, start or restarts or another reason, we're not sure. But the result as follows Michael Smith, the winner by half a second ahead of Mark Willis. Dan Petters took third ahead of George Tariki, and that could well put him into the points lead, I reckon. Paul Tompkins, fifth. Great result for Alan Cooper in sixth place in the 72. Nathan Dew, newcomer this season, seventh. And Jeff Dixon from last on the grid takes eighth ahead of Danny Hun. Bad luck to him, was running well in the early stages. Roger Dormer gets a top ten ahead of Lee Rogers, the pole sitter, recovering after a spin. Chris Land was twelfth ahead of Jamie Liptrot, Stephen Field, and uh, the penalty for Dale Gent, dropping him down to 15th. We lost uh, Reese Jones on that restart, of course. Uh, Simon Ward went into the gravel. Dean Tompkins and uh, Dan Fisher pulled into the pits. James Goldstraw was still running at the chequered flag, but uh, a long way behind after problems. And we lost Richard Ailing into the pits as well. OK, a uh, very quick breather then before our next race action of the day. <laughs> 